Hello subscribers. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a look at constraints. Like if you want your character, you want to adjust your character's line of sight. Like, okay, let me use this as an example. So you want him to look around. It's just a simple rig of his eyes moving around. So let's get to work. I actually um, prepared a sample on this side. So it's quite straightforward. So all you have to do is create your spheres, um, whatever you, you want your eyes to be. Now I'm using these two half spheres. Um, so I'll select one, and you you need to create your target as well. That that will be what you be like your control rig for the eyes. So I'll select one of the um, the eye, and I'll go to animation constraints, look at constraints, then. I'll click on the text that's the height so the moment I clicked on it, it just snapped right and you can see this line it has linked to this um this spline so I'll select the other one and I'll do the same constraint look at constraint then I'll click on this again and now you can see you can see um the boats um they are both linked to the high um this spline so by the time I move this spline around you can see they now move just like the, um, the first example I showed you. So um, another thing to take note of is um, in your motion tab, when you scroll down, right, you can see rotation and there are some things to edit right here. So um, let's say for instance, um, by default, your max set it to like X. That's your that's your um look at axis. You need to come here and look, um, check, um, try what works for you. Like for me, in this scene, um, the axis I can work with is Y. And if I try to use Z, it just flips somewhere else. So always take note. And it might look different um, on uh, a complete sphere. This, uh, um, this one is half. So it depends. Just experiment with it. But that's the basic way to make a, a look at constraint. And if you can see now, it it can even be keyed so let's say on my frame frame 0 I want him to look somewhere on frame 10 I want him to look somewhere all I just have to do is click this control and key the control I don't have to key the high I'm keying the control that's on the displaying control so what I'll do now is uh, I'm just gonna put on animation on this guy quickly and that tip you need to get is um after um you've done the rig like I've done here all you have to do is link both eyes to this head bone or whatever bone um, whatever if it's not a human or character you can use something else but if it's um, a human character link it to the head bone and link these as well to the head bone so when they move okay let me show you what what I, what I would do right away I'll select the head bone I'm using a biped for this rig so I'll just go right to my um, to my motion here. Yeah, that's where I am. So I'll just switch off figure mode. I have an animation on him already. Okay, so cool. Okay, right here now, this guy can walk around with this control stuck to his head. Doesn't move anywhere. And if you can see, because I duplicated these eyes, these two, uh, these two eyes, the ones, the ones we use for this um example can see they just follow this character everywhere it goes look at um this one i'm talking about his eyes here they just follow him because they has been linked to the to the head so just link him to the head and you have no issues at all so one more thing to take note of is um uh, like i was saying about the king okay now i want him to look at this ipad that's right here so what i'll do is um i'll just go to my frame 10 my, my frame 10 I press um, N for auto key that's my short um, shortcut for auto key so I'll select the ice line and I'll just move him move it around like this so let's just zoom in and see what the character okay um, you have to take note of how you move it as well this is not realistic at all what I just did so I needed to like do something like this and there is no way your eyes will move like that and you won't turn your head if you want to look that extreme like okay you want to look to this point you need to like turn his head like 
like so like this this is just an animation tip it's not supposed to be part of this tutorial but what i'm saying is uh you need to like make it look good like like this so you can key the high the movement of the eye so now that i've moved to this um frame 22 i can just move it again but i have to be mindful of the position Okay, so by moving it just a little bit, you can see um, the high is trying to get out of the mesh right here, but I'll just try to bring it back. So it's just a simple way of uh, rigging the eye. You can see now, looks not looks at this place and it turns, looks at this place. Okay, don't, ma uh, don't mind me, I have a, uh, um, a facial animation on this guy, so he's just saying something at that point. So that's just the way it works. So I'll see you guys. For non-subscribers, don't forget to subscribe. Just click the button right there, right below, to subscribe to get more tutorials. And this tutorial is actually requested by uh, a friend of mine. So you can request tutorials. Tutorials you feel you have um, issues. Um, there's a particular issue you have in Max or Maya that you need um, help on. If I can get it done, I'll just do it for you. Just um, send me an email, and I'll and I have it done. So guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a nice day.